Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and I want to talk a little bit about the assignment adding up to green because what I assigned virtually and what was really important that those two didn't really align. So I want to kind of go through it and show you what I would have expected you to get out of this. So if you read through this assignment, let's see, this is activity two, three, four, adding up to green. Uh, it talks about lead and which is all about energy efficiency and green building. They have a link here that takes you to a place. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Here it is. So this is a reference for lead version four, and it talks, it walks you through this very lengthy process, which is a little intimidating. So let's go and look through and see what they have you do. So at the far start of it, you are going through thinking about your home design. We're doing three bedroom homes, and that means that we have to be less than 220 or 2200 square feet. Um, which is no problem for our design, and you get points for every 20% uh, reduction. I think I had you guys do this table somewhere. We ignored this because it really just matters what you got in this table. <clears throat> so there were some functions here, but we're not interested in that. Uh, really what I wanted you to think about is the roles, the professional roles, uh, for the activity. So we have things like the residential builder. This would also be like a contractor or urban. Does, no, this is like a contractor. Okay. Then we have architects, energy engineers, mechanical engineers, land use experts. This could also be an urban planner is what that would probably be called today. And then civil engineers and landscape architects. Was you're thinking about sites and uh, civil engineers also think about structural soundness, okay? So we have all these people that can participate in a lead sheet. So the lead sheet is, and it's telling you which one to go look at, so uh, I'll go through this in just a moment. It's basically you go through with the different lens and you try to find ways to earn credits within your categories based on what you find. So, uh, and you'll see that some of the uh, recommendations are as simple as changing fixtures, like we're gonna put a different shower head on here. And some of them are rather extensive to get those credits. So, um, so really the whole point of this was to assume the roles of different people in the design share it, and you go find information uh, that helps you earn lead credits. So let's go look at that a little bit. I really don't like the thing that they take you to in the curriculum here. Let me expand this a bit so I can get the links to work. I think more useful is if you choose on this website, if you go to lead and let the pop-up come up here and you're looking for the lead credit library. All right. And right here, you're going to find the rating system. And you can see that currently it's version 4.1. So there is a new version out there. And that's what made this a little bit confusing. So you have new construction. Also, we could have looked at, we're looking for things that talk about homes and single family. Uh, multifamily might be okay, but single family is probably what we did, would have selected for 4.1. But we were specifically using lead version four, which is right here, B, D, plus C, homes, and then V4, lead V4. All right, so let's say that you were looking at water efficiency in that section. So you would simply choose this and look for the one, the title that matched what you were looking for. So let's look at water, indoor water use. Okay, so we'll click on that. And we can see that this is going to be up to six points possible. So what I would expect you to do here, uh, if you were the person that was looking at water efficiency indoors, you would go through and look at the requirements here to earn these points. So right here, this paragraph here, single family, will tell you how to earn those points up to six points. So let's just look at one of these. Uh, the average rated water flow volume per shower compartments must not exceed 1.75 gallons per minute or for one point or 1.5 gallons per minute for two points. So right there, you just change the fixtures in the shower to get two points on that lead sheet. So the thing is, when you look at that lead sheet, uh, that's that big Excel table. Uh, that's going to list all the different ways you can earn points and you want to try to earn as many as you can to get a higher energy rating. So the higher energy rating, you can qualify for some building credits and that sort of thing. So 
that's just a real quick look at adding up to green kind of the intention you were the intention was to look at a building project through lots of different perspectives and figure out how to earn those points it was confusing in that i didn't have it clearly spelled out where to go find how to earn those points so that's why this lead page is useful for i hope you find this helpful sorry for any confusion we'll press on thank you